Hi there. Jason here again. I uh, was going to do a video. I know it's been a little while since I've done a video on my channel about about horror movies. So here we go. Um, this movie was recommended to me by, by 81 Oak Ridge or Mike. A lot of you guys already know him. If you don't, go check him out. He's an awesome guy. He's a great channel. Does great uh, reviews and everything. But he's been talking about this, this one film for, for quite a bit lately. And it really made me want to go see it. It's called, uh, I mean, uh, bear with me here. This is my uh, my terrible attempt at, at trying to pronounce this movie. Is it Baze Moi? But uh, whatever whatever the actual title is, it translates into, I think literally translates into fuck me in English. So, uh, so Ms. Poole, uh, let me know what my pronunciation was on that. But, um, yeah, man, this film really, really blew me away, uh, I got to say. I don't generally like, uh, you know, films like this, but but I do watch quite a few, and you know, it's not not that often that I really get uh, moved by a film. But this film was really really good stuff. I want to recommend it to everybody. Uh, awesome awesome film. Basically, just it's kind of like Thelma and Louise on like on Angel Dust or something like that. It's just really it's fucked up and. It's just about these two women that, that basically just get pissed off at men and just, you know, people in general and just start, you know, just going to killing spree. And it's so many murders and so many killings in this movie. And I will say this, it has, uh, like, really, really graphic sex scenes in it. Like, probably, like, the most graphic I've ever seen in a mainstream movie. Or, not a mainstream movie, a, a movie in general. I mean, it's, it's like borderline, like, hardcore porno. Seriously, but uh, you know, if you can get past all that stuff, I really thought, with the exception of the rape scene and maybe a few other scenes in there, a lot of that shit can just be taken out because it's a fairly short movie anyway. But it'd probably be really short without all that stuff in it. So I mean, really, it's, it's hardcore stuff in there. But that is one complaint I'd have about the movie. Just it, a lot of that stuff was just unnecessary. I mean, you know. The, the last time I saw that much hanging meat was in uh, Rocky, you know, and I just not a not a fan of the of the uh, but uh, yeah. Other than that, man, it was a really awesome movie. Uh, another complaint I would have is some of the gore effects. Uh, it's like the well, the gore effects, and then also just the, uh, the the special effects in general. Like these chicks were going around shooting people and there were a couple of scenes when they were just like they were like doing this like bam bam they were doing that shit and like there was no muzzle flash or anything they were just making a noise of it and you know that, that was just kind of a little a little cheap to me but you know the gore effects were not all that great so if you're a big gore hound I wouldn't really go watch this one just for the gore not not really a lot of that a lot of deaths a lot of murders but not a lot of gore but really awesome film I, I really like what they were trying to do and uh, I made the mistake of going on IMDb. I do this very often. I go on, go on IMDb all the time, and I just, like, I, I bitch at people and argue at people for them being so closed-minded, and people are just fucking retarded, man. And I just I have to go bitch at all these trolls that get on IMDb. They're worse on IMDb than they're on YouTube. Thank God they're not as bad on here as they are on there, but. I had to go bitch at some folks for being so closed minded. These people were like, oh, I watched 30 minutes of this film and it's a piece of shit. And I'm like, well, what the fuck did you only watch 30 minutes of it for, you idiot? And I mean, the fucking key plot elements are in the, the second half of the movie. Uh, fucking idiots, man. But really awesome movie. Everybody go check it out. Go check out Mike's channel. He's an awesome guy. And thanks for the recommendation, dude. Uh, keep up the great work. Thanks.